In part one, you met Aryan and his mother Meena and learned how the Home Thrive Scale focuses on the safety of the family environment as top priority for a secure reintegration. The next step in the reintegration process is to document the foundational family strengths and pressing challenges in each of the five domains covered by the Home Thrive Scale. They are rated on a scale from 1, meaning in crisis needs immediate attention, to 4, meaning thriving no attention needed. In the realm of family and social relationships, Aryan has many positive factors, including positive relationship among family when he visits, the desire to return to family, and a calm, well-behaved demeanor in the CCI. Fortunately, there is no evidence of child abuse or neglect within the family. Granted, Meena is overwhelmed at times with her children, but she is a loving mother trying to do her best for the family. Support is needed. The social worker must devise a plan to help Meena address challenges, including offering positive discipline approaches for her energetic youngest son, and even find ways to reconnect with extended family and old friends for the sake of companionship. She will likely need strategies for smoothly transitioning Aryan back into the home. In the household economy domain, Meena has several positives, including the financial assistance she receives from her brother and her ability to work as a housekeeper if her health is improved and childcare can be arranged when needed. Meena would benefit from a more stable source of income to reduce her stress related to monthly rent payments as well as reliable daycare. Financial assistance might be secured via government programs. Captured on the Home Thrive scale, the household economy domain would be scored as shown here. Fortunately, Meena can offer a secure home with basic amenities in a safe neighbourhood. When it comes to education, there is access in the form of a government school in the neighbourhood. Meena will need support helping Aryan with his learning issues. In the health and mental health domain, Meena needs access to healthcare or at least childcare so she can visit the doctor alone. She may also benefit from grief counselling. Aryan might also need counselling to address his school-related frustrations and a long overdue dental checkup. When these domains have been recorded and ranked, it's time for the case manager to create a detailed intervention plan for each milestone that needs attention. It looks like this. Ratings are then summarized by domain in the Home Thrive Scale so that progress can be tracked by domain over time. The Home Thrive Scale also has an easy to understand graph function that can indicate progress of Aryan's family over time, show the effectiveness of interventions and identify gap areas within their community's network of support. As the reintegration begins, then advances, the Home Thrive Scale provides a repeatable, understandable process for assessing risk factors and charting success along the way. Based on Aryan's family dynamic, surrounding resources and diligent work from his social worker, he should be well on his way to a successful integration. There are so many questions that must be addressed in the course of a reintegration, but the end goal of a restored family is a most worthy effort. Throughout, social workers must carefully weigh concerns ranging from the desire of both parties to reintegrate to those crisis issues identified with a score of 1 on the scale, then work diligently for their resolution. The involvement of the multidisciplinary team is crucial in the process of reintegration. This team can be involved throughout the reintegration process and can help address the red flag items. The district and child welfare officials can guide the social worker with the support needed for the families or any other observations for the community and family. Monthly case discussion with relevant government authorities is helpful in order to make the final decision about the reintegration of a child from a child care institution into a family. With engagement from the family, support from the community and assistance of government and charitable organizations and a lot of hard work, there is no limit to the number of children like Aryan that can be safely and successfully returned to their families.